Oh, man. Wow. Yes. No. Yes. Oh, wow. Hey, guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Pac-Man World 2. Last time, I completed the Water World. And if you had watched last episode, then you would have thought I was playing Star Fox, because the Water World ended with two rail shooters, which I think, and it seems you guys agreed, was an interesting take on a Water World, having a rail shooter. But also, the comments got me thinking as we enter the last world of the game, making this the second to last episode as we enter Haunted Boardwalk. You guys wondered why there weren't it wasn't just a traditional water level and Oh, oh, oh. I thought this was going to be the second level of the episode. Uh, I'm going to have to hold off on that topic. Do you remember the ice skates and how good those were and how much fun it was? Welcome back. Welcome back. This time though, we have a free range of movement and oh, this boardwalk it's gonna be so good. Let's, let's, you know what? I'm just gonna get going. Oh, it's so great. Oh. Yes. Ah. Get up. I need to be quick about this because some of these boardwalks will sink. Oh, hello, Orange. But, uh, you guys thought it was strange that there wasn't just a traditional water level, and that's when I realized. Do you remember last, or uh, the first episodes where I said that uh, packed up pond and it's ilk. Oh boy. Uh, we're just the tutorial and their mechanic was teaching us about the mechanics of the game. Well, I realized that that's wrong. Their mechanic was water. We never saw those water physics again. There are literally two episodes or two levels that have water physics in them. And so all of the worlds had their own mechanic. And it's kind of strange that the water physics were never used, or the water controls were never used again, even in the water world, but I, it's it's kind of odd. Maybe there's just a disconnect between Vince Jolie, who uh, made most of those levels, and the person who's designing the water world? I don't know. We do know that it was intended for the water world to have a... Uh, to have a... Whoa. Whoa, that launched me in the sky. To have uh, an inner tube mechanic, so I don't know. It's It's really odd. Uh, also, last episode, as I'm making these jumps, I did say that if I hadn't, uh, if I didn't get the opportunity to see that upgrade that we got for the pack sub, I would show it off on screen, and I will be doing that after this episode before the final topic of the day. But, getting to this, these platforms now sink, uh, which means that it's pretty fast-paced. Also, we have split pads which I don't think I took the right split path. Oh boy. So it's a little bit slower paced, but honestly it's it's really great and I'm, I'm so happy. This was the other level that I would spam as a child because any opportunity to play this mechanic was a welcome one. I also have to be really careful. I can't just gun it because if there are different segments of the platform, then that will get me caught up on him. Just keep moving. Uh, left path, left path. It has lives. Jump! Oh, I made it! Oh, I thought... Oh, man. I was... I was hanging on to life there. Haunted boardwalk. Ooh, I almost died. <laughs> In fact, I feel like I died to that a lot as a kid. This is... Intense. It's... Crazy. And I wish we had played- I also wish we had played this in October because this is really fitting of October. That doesn't work! The short and might jumps like that. Get the thing! Swim up or fly up! Uh, left path this time. Pack dots. Kinda mean. Split paths. If you're going for 100% completion. The music is so good but I can't really listen to it. This is this is way more intense than I remember. I, I remember it being intense, but not this. I have to keep going. The, like, it's the floor. Oh, I can't get it. I can't get it. I have to go up. The floor is lava. Man, this is crazy. I love these levels, and I wish they had done... Oh, boy. I wish they had done more with this mechanic. I have to be very careful about these 
boardwalks that are close to the water because I die real quick. You also have to wonder how long have these been here with no nothing on them? Oh no. Am I dead? I'm not dead. I'm gonna wipe off my hands uh, <laughs> if you guys don't mind. I'm just gonna wipe them off of my pants. <laughs> okay. That was... That was a... That happened. That happened. I also like the lightning effects. It's a very simple effect to do. But it works. It, it really works. I, I love it when worlds do this atmospheric effect where it's not just a background. It's not just the music, but there are, there's like rain. I love it when it rains in a video game, even though it's just... It's usually just a filter on the camera. I... I it, it... Not enough games do it. Barely any game does it, really. Have you noticed that? It just... It's not... You don't really see rain in video games. That's why one of my favorite areas, or I guess this happens in, like, every Pikmin 3 area, but when it rains in Pikmin 3, it's so relaxing. It's great. Why am I talking about relaxation in this this level of all things? Wait, 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 wait. That killed me. And token. Honestly, I could see this mechanic... I can see both the, the Blade Mountain mechanics of going down a mountain on skates and this making a full game. And I, I know that skating games exist, but this something about this, because it's it's skating being retrofitted to a platformer, it offers so much more, I think. Maybe just the budget as well, or, or the developers, that makes it so much more than just like a, a skating or a, a sledding game. That's not going to sink, is it? Really? Really? The reason why I'm getting the fruit is because I feel like the Galaxian, unless we've passed it already, is going to be found in one of those fruit boxes. And so, there, I made the jump. It, it's probably a good idea that I get every fruit I see. That's why I died up here, because I thought that, or was it here? I thought there was another platform. That's that's what happened. Can I make that jump? On the, that's not sinking. Neat. What? Don't stop it. Bad. Why do I feel like that's gonna sink? No, it didn't. Okay, got a fruit. And these aren't sinking, and that's making me extremely paranoid. Oh, there's the Galaxian. And this thing isn't sinking? I'm I'm really paranoid. I I believe all of the all of these platforms are darker colored if they're going to sink. But that doesn't make me any less paranoid. Okay, Galaxian. I assume we're going to be skating in this this maze. Uh, I don't see skates, but I could be wrong. I also like how there are a bunch of tombstones of Pac-Man. Oh, he's in chase. He is definitely in chase. This is oh, this is cool. Drat! I turned around. Mm, I should have stayed forward. Duh. Oh, this is a death trap. Okay, get out, get out, get out, get out. Be greedy. That was a death trap. I should have only done that with a power pellet. Oh wait, he's gonna be forced to turn around. Yes, 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 now I follow him. Now I follow him. Look at these strats! He can't turn around! What you doing, son? Yes! I love, I love using their AI against them. It feel, it's so rewarding. It feels so good. I just want one more ghost. 400. Done. 10,000. Pretty good. That's, that's decent. <sighs> Haunted Boardwalk. We're back. Considering that I... Oh! Jump! Drip! At least I just got the <laughs> checkpoint. I also don't really need to worry about the fruit. N you know, now that I see that... I, I thought that this was going to be the second level. I'm wondering if maybe we're going to be doing another... Another skating level? That'd be great. I love this mechanic. Just keep going. Just keep going. There's a bat. That's mean. That is really mean. Flyingly. 
I need to stay on the left side, actually, now that I think about it. Because... Oh, wait, no, that doesn't work. I missed a thing. Oh, that's so hard to get. Uh, I'm tempted to jump to the, to the right side. And I'm not going to. That would have been hype, though. If I die, I'm taking that way again. Oh, boy. I was wondering what, insi what was inside that. The ghost dolls also aren't after me. Oh. Why am I doing this? Easy token. Good. Jump. Yeah, there's a clear difference in, in the boardwalks that are going to fall versus the one that aren't. I'll take that hit. What are you guys doing? What are you doing? Uh, obstacles. Oh, I'm at, I'm at the end of the level. Wow, I love that level. <laughs> I love that level so much. It, it touches my heart. <laughs> Since even the devs couldn't get their names right, you ever heard of Pinky and Clyde? No, he has! No one's heard of our friends Pinky and Clyde! Who's that piloting Blinky's frog? It, it, it's Clyde. Clyde is piloting Blinky's frog. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is Blinky actually Clyde? Is Clyde Blinky? Am I Blinky? Is Link dead in Majora's Mask? The answer to that is yes, yes, I hope not, and no. Link is in the Twilight Realm ten years after it and the Dark Interlopers are sealed away. He kills the sentient power of the Majora's Mask and escapes to Hyrule only to succumb to the power of the Fierce Deity Mask to appear in Twilight Princess. Thankfully, I wasn't the only one to have been confused by the names of the Pac-Man ghosts, and neither were the devs of Pac-Man World 2. I don't think that I can undersell how unprecedented it is for a mistake of this magnitude to go unnoticed by Namco. Imagine if Peach or Daisy's names were swapped in Mario Tennis Aces, or if Tingle and Knuckle were exchanged. The weirdest part is how long this mistake went unnoticed. Pac-Man World 2 and 3 weren't the only games to have made this error. It has been made off and on since 1982. Pac-Man took arcades by storm in 1980, and Namco was eager to capitalize on their new player base of 30 million strong by launching a Pac-Man cartoon in 1982. This cartoon was the first symptom of the growing confusion between the two ghosts. Their names were correct, but their personalities weren't. Clyde was written to be the leader amongst the four, most likely because he is the only ghost with a different naming convention. Blinky was the cowardly one. This mistake wouldn't be featured in-game until Namco Classic Collection Volume 2, released in 1996. This arcade collection included the original game and Pac-Man arrangement, and the name change was present in both. Now embedded within the series lore and... canon? I, I guess it showed up in official material, so it's technically canon. The name change now haunted the franchise, showing up in every Pac-Man game until Pac-Man World Rally. The last game to feature the mistake was none other than Pac-Man World 3. However, it wasn't the last officially licensed product to contain the mistake. In Wreck-It Ralph, there is a scene where he goes to Bad Guy Anonymous, which is led by one of the original baddies in gaming, Clyde. While none of the characters refer to him by name, the closed captions refer to him as Blinky. I could find no official statement clarifying whether this was an intentional change or an accident that snowballed into a major identity crisis. I don't think it matters either way though. Considering how often I got mixed up at the beginning of this series, it's clear that the ambiguity has caused long-lasting confusion that only time and consistency will alleviate. Night crawling the third to last yeah the third to last level in the entire game it feels so sad uh oh actually oh this is the level yeah this is oh this is the this is the level this is the level that i thought what is over there i think that's more level this is the level that i thought was magnum opus which I guess you could see why I, you could probably see why I think that with all the torches, with the cave. Although this skeleton is a bit out of place, really out of place token. I almost feel like that was supposed to be hidden in there, and they they didn't didn't model that. Okay, 
But yeah, you, it, it's pretty obvious. This looks like it could be a magnum, o uh, yeah, a magnum opus. Wait, what? Where is that supposed to be? Where do I get that fruit? Maybe I'm supposed to backtrack for it? I want to try killing this bat. Gotcha! I guess you didn't drop it. That's, this is weird. Okay, maybe... Maybe the fruit is later on. Because there's no way that I missed it. I just started the level. Maybe you have it. Do you have it? Oh. <laughs> Boom. Whoa. Okay. Fireballs. I also need some pack dots at this point. A lot of demons. It's kind of weird that they chose a pirate theme for this. I guess it's like a ghost. It's a ghost island, which makes sense for there to be a pirate theme. But it is kind of odd. You would think that this would be in the water world and there would be it's like oh yeah there are pirates in this water world and they're ghosts because the entire game is ghost theme not here i guess uh i can't jump as high in this but it's it's not that bad actually yeah I'm, I'm perfect that's not really an obstacle game it's not that bad it's cool but it's not that bad oh whoa secret oh i can scale this can i go higher Mm, wait. You see that? No, no, no. There's a... Do you see that? I might die because of this, but there's a ridge. I'm not the only one seeing this, right? There's a ridge along the side. That might kill me. Is there anything on it? Uh, you know what? Cheat code. Cheat code one one. I, I'm emulating. I can do this. Yoink! Is there anything up there? <laughs> no. Is there anything up up here? Uh, no. I think. Cool level though. <laughs> yeah. The, the power kind of got to my head. This the free range camera is so nice. I I love having that. It it makes you can see so many cool things, and I'm. Ow. Don't do that. I'm kind of excited to play other games on emulator because now that I know that that's an option that I can do, it it really... Aw, oh, I almost got you. It opens up a world of possibilities for seeing things, for solving puzzles. I mean, it, to a certain extent, it's cheating, and so I kind of try to avoid it because it's... It's not like, oh, you used a funny glitch. It's like, oh, no, that's, a that's actually cheating. That's kind of... Kind of scummy when you're a lot of games use the camera in strategic ways. Can I get up that? No Here I'm gonna fully charge this I feel like I could get to the top of that or maybe it's a shortcut down at some point I, I guess that's that's one thing I've kind of thought about recently is that uh, in my earthbound let's play uh, if you if any of you have watched that I used a bug uh, basically at the beginning of the game you're supposed to have this this thing in your inventory that that stays in your inventory for the entire game and does nothing it's important for the story but nowhere else is it important or can be used so basically the game is saying okay at the beginning of the game you ness are down one inventory slot and there's a really nice bug for some reason, I'm expecting booby traps in here. There's a really nice bug to get rid of that and and never get the the soundstone. And I use that in my let's play. But I've I've watched a lot of Earthbound let's plays where they're like, this bug exists, but I'm not going to do it uh, because I want this let's play to be very honest. And it's like, no, don't. That's that's really that's a stupid reason. Okay, I need to stop running into the spiders. It's like, that's a really stupid reason to not do something, because it's making, it's like saying, okay, my let's play is, okay, I need to stop. <laughs> my let's play is going to be boring, because I, I don't, I want this to be like the one let's play that you watch, when the viewers probably watch a lot more let's plays of that game than, than just the one, and you're making your, your, um, let's play homogenous by doing that. Where am I going? You know what? I'm I'm curious. I know this is slightly scummy, but honestly, this is the second to last episode. I kind of want to do what I want. 
I'm just curious because this as a kid this is something that I always wondered is there something majorly secret in here and it looks like I got everything but it's something I was always curious about and and now I get to answer that question I'm just kind of cheating this episode which is fine also in my let's play of, of earthbound I used a bug this one camera <laughs> am I going backwards I'm going back where I, the way I yeah I'm going back the way I came uh, in my Let's Play of Earthbound, I used a bug. This one's slightly more controversial because it made the game much easier rather than getting rid of a stupid mechanic. Um, but I I used this bug that would basically allow me an uh, infinite supply of PP if I used um, this item in my inventory, and I had to use it in battle. I had to. And But that was like, it's, it's making the Let's Play unique. That spider really wants to kill me, and I hope he doesn't get the opportunity to. Uh, I'm not going to press that button for a moment. I'm hoping for some health, because I kind of ran into those spiders earlier. Ooh, hello. You make this. I see. This area is really cool, by the way. This world is cool. Most worlds in video games, they're like, okay, water world, fire world, ice world. But, but very few play around that. It's like, oh, this is a city world. This is, this is a pirate world. And it's, it's really cool. I like it when they do that because it just, it makes me have some confidence in developers to think, okay, there are more than just these, these generic worlds. Sort of like with the homogenous glitch thing. Like, they, there are more uh, possibilities, and it's not just a trope that has to be done over and over again. And there is my slice of life. Thank you ever so much, game. I'm very happy about you. I'm also not grabbing most of these, which is kind of odd. It's really weird. Okay, get these. Not sure where we're going. This this area has been taking us on a wild ride, and the mist is kind of makes it difficult. It's not just like draw distance mist. It's it's atmospheric. It's not like Breath of the Wild mist. Die, swordsman. Your swords are useless in a world of butts and bouncing. It's useless. Uh, go down there. Wait, I can always go down. I may not be able to go up. So let's check up here. What is this for? Oh, I remember this. This is like, come on, let me walk. Thank you. Isn't there a token up here? I seem to remember there being a token. There it is, there it is. Be very careful. Yoink, yoink. Childhood memories, childhood memories. Uh, now, I don't know what, oh, that's where I came from, but this, is not where I came from. There's our sh my shortcut back. A melon, in case I didn't already have one, and that's it. It was just here for a melon? It's kind of odd, isn't that? It's kind of weird. Whoa, camera. <laughs> See, this is why I don't ex I excuse myself from using, ow. I excuse myself from using the emulation camera because sometimes this camera is is, it leaves a bit to be desired. Where am I going? I can't actually see. Where? Am I supposed to rev roll over there? No, I can't make that. There is no way I can make that. But I'm gonna try. I can! Oh, I barely made that. That's what they wanted me to do. That's crazy. I spent far too long trying to sort that, thinking no way. There is no possible way I can make that. I also might die from this devil dude. Ooh, that was good reaction time. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? I want to look over the ledge. Okay, there's nothing. Is this an arena? What's this arena for? Oh, this. That's what the arena's for. One hit and I'm dead. Can't see. Got him. Is that it? There are some swordsmen dudes. Okay, I got a checkpoint. I can breathe easy. Grab this. Whoa, oh, <laughs> whoa, you die. Don't you try and spawn camp me. I have 243 pack dots, which is my favorite number. Do not kill me, Mr. Bat. Ah, oh! yes. Kill the spider. I should probably, ha yeah, I have apples. All right, we're n I think we're nearing the end of the level. I can't see this level going on much further. Is this it? No, it's still going. This is a huge level. I mean, I made it a little bit bigger with getting 
confused and also playing around with the camera, but this is a big level, man. It's also really... <laughs> I was gonna say, it's it's way better than, done than, than Pac-Man World 3, but I don't know why I, like, brought that up. I think I just wanted to slam uh, Pac-Man 3. Hoi! Yeah, this is definitely the end. Look how many torches are on this thing. This is light up, lit up like a Christmas tree, man. It's a, it's a pirate Christmas tree, and they want us to know that they're here. Is this like a pirate fortress? What what are we actually in? Ow. What are we actually doing? <laughs> what is this place actually? Okay, get on the little taxi. This area looks a lot like it's from Pirates of the Caribbean, but that could just be because of the pirate theme. D you die. Okay, let's get down. Whoa, end of the level and a whole swarm of pirates. Dead. De 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 there, he's dead. And we're at the end of the level. That was slightly anti-climate. I mean, there was a bunch. There were a bunch of enemies, but I expect like a little reward, like an apple over here. No, no apple. Okay, end of the level we go, and the end of the second to last episode. Makes me so sad. Level complete! Do 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 do. <sighs> it feels weird, man. It feels so weird. On one hand, this series has been extremely short. It's I don't know where it measures up to to uh Pikmin 1. I think Pikmin 1 was like 11 episodes, and this is going to be 13. But also, I worked on, I've worked on this game, on this Let's Play, so much more than I have for Pikmin 1. So, th in my eyes, it, this is like, Earthbound level, like 42 episodes, when in reality it's 13, and I just spent a lot of time working on the topics of the day for every episode. But, it, it's weird because I know it's short, but at the same time it feels like I've been Let's Playing this for a long time. And I guess part of that is just the fact that I played this game a lot as a kid, so I feel like it's coming to an end. All of that time is reaching a conclusion that I never had before. Next time in Pac-Man World 2, we're going into Ghost Bayou. Bayou? Bayou. Ghost Bayou. And ending the game. See you guys on a Tuesday or Thursday. Later. Press the B button to fire gun. Oh yeah! I, I was gonna say, it's not doing anything. Oh yeah it is. Look at this destruction. Everything's blowing up. Everything's leaving. How long does this last? I hope it lasts forever. Look at this, I'm overpowered. Oh, that's, that's how long it lasts. <laughs>